We are a unique generation of people who are living on a planet where all levels of life are endangered. And therefore it becomes the responsibility of all of us in our own distinctive ways to try to meet that challenge and also to enhance life. Over many years, Gunter and I have had conversations about theological and ethical issues. And one of the things we noticed is that too often people in theology and ethics and the humanities look backward. We are sitting together and you know, it's like a kind of blessed moment that we really thought, let's do something. And let's do something rather larger, not just one conference, but let's do something where we have a multi-year uh, project. And that was the beginning of working through the notion of enhancing life. The enhancement of life is about daring to hope being open to the future. To making sense and making more sense of life. Enhancing life is about improving the individual's life as a part of improving life for people more generally. Normally people from the humanities and people from natural science, for instance, don't talk about this issue at all. And uh, our hope is actually that we will create a s settings of scholarship where this question will be, become an important question. And they all speak their own language. They all kind of have their own frame of reference. But they're all coming together for one common purpose, which is to enhance life. We have people here studying end-of-life care. We all have touched that in some ways. We have people studying cell phone use. We have people studying things that are just part of everyday life, but examining them through this lens of enhancing life. We wanted to get people in different levels, different dimensions of our society, so that we could have impact in those different levels. We did this with a seemingly paradox strategy. We gave them a lot of freedom for free flow conversation, working on their own stuff in their room or in the library, being just on a hike, and at the same time have a pretty clear structured program. To me, the enhancement of life means not living my life just in my head. Finding the strength within your own quivering innermost self. Embedding a single life problem in truly abundant life. So the fact that we're all together doing this not only enhances the project, enhances our own interactions with each other, is that we would create a new set of studies called Enhancing Life Studies. Um, and that can only come out of the group. It can't come out of us individually. It has to come out together. Interacting with senior scholars from different disciplines made me think and sharpen my ideas around what I like to do with the Enhancing Life Project in my own field of medicine and Islamic law. Uh, for one thing, this is an interdisciplinary group of international scholars who uh, together will have a great impact on their fields. We'll not only be producing research on this subject, but we're also going to be teaching courses at our home institutions. So we'll be able to really reach uh, hundreds, maybe thousands of students, all of whom will have a sense then of what it means to enhance life. If we do this right, and if we show that enhancing life is an important topic, and if we show that you must have religion, the humanities, the social sciences, the natural and biological sciences, all involved, then we have actually given a way to rethink the modern university. It was an amazing event. People were willing to listen. And what is very important, they were willing to balance 
their own project and the overarching concern for enhancing life. These people are well on their way, a lot of them. Their projects already have almost immediate potential to bring forth a conversation about enhancing life. There are plenty of uh, research projects that do have kind of a normative agenda, how to make the world better, but in general those tend to be policy oriented. So how to make governments better, um, how to make social policies better. And I think that the Enhancing Life Project is aiming at something bigger than that. Enhancing life is a kind of boundary management. There are limits we should accept and there are limits that become thresholds we have to transcend. So for me, part of what enhancing life means must begin with human beings. For us to wrestle with and grasp the full complexity of our lives so that it, they can be deepened, broadened, and in that way enhanced. Then the other part is, and, uh, is that we hope, or I hope, that we address this question of the endangerment of all levels of life on our planet. I think that's the responsibility of the 21st century. What is enhancing life? Attending to and helping to ensure the possibilities of the full aliveness of creaturely and cosmic life. Enhancing life means understanding the necessity and even value of vulnerability in human experience. Enhancing life for me is Enhancing life is a great What is enhancing life? The answer to that question is that I don't know yet, but you can check back with me in a year or two and I'll tell you.